fill search? I was there every day. Okay. What were the hours of the landfill search on any given day? We would, honestly, <laughs> we literally, myself and another lieutenant showed up prior to everybody showing up. We were there at five o'clock in the morning and we did not leave easily until five in the afternoon, 5.30 in the afternoon. And the only time I actually left is when we had a uh, uniform security, uh, a uniform police officer coming to do security of the landfill site after hours. Tell me about the after hours security plan at the landfill. We usually traditionally broke down about 4.30, 5 o'clock to clean everybody up, decontaminate everybody. Um, and then once all the searchers were bussed out, I was the last person there waiting for the relief uniformed officer to come there and sit on the side. That way we had uh, security there at the site 24 seven. Somebody from the police department would have eyes on that site uh, 24 seven from the time that we started to the time that we had. And are you talking about the entrance to the landfill on Little Neck Road, or are you talking about inside the landfill at the search area specifically, or both? But we had, there was security at the entrance of the landfill, but that was done by the city of Savannah because that was their area. Um, the actual site where the, excuse me, um, the volunteers and the people who were assigned to the uh, search uh, was actually done by Chatham County Police personnel. Okay. Um, was the area kept well lit at night? Yes, sir. We actually had floodlights that came on. Uh, the officers were instructed to turn them on when it got dark. Uh, sometimes when we were still there, I would have them turned on before the officer got there. And what was the point of all this? So we could have visible um, visibility of the area at all times. That way there would be no chance anyway they performed that area by somebody other than the law enforcement searchers who are involved uh, and police personnel. And of course, waste management personnel that were allowed to be there. Now, did you pull that overnight security duty uh, yourself at any point? Unfortunately, a few times I had to, yes. And what did that involve for you? Basically being in a marked unit, being in a uniform, sitting there, looking at the landing where the uh, trash was brought to, I hate to say it that way, but trash was brought there uh, to be searched and looking at the site where they were actually pulling from to bring down to the landing. We had all that lit up to where you could actually see the whole thing. Uh, do you remember, were you, were you present on the day uh, that Quentin's remains were finally found? Unfortunately, yes, sir. And what were you doing uh, at the landfill that day? What, what were your duties on that day? Uh, again, from based off of the logistics part and setting everything up and all that, while we were there and they were searching, we were actually stationed by, and every time something of significance was found, they alerted us. Uh, and then uh, they would bring whatever certain items that they found and took it over to the forensic anthropologist to review. And was that the last um, that the last day of the landfill search? Yes. Overall, how many days would you say that you were out? You may not remember off the top of your head, but roughly how long did this um, landfill saga last for? I remember it was, was it after pre previous Thanksgiving? I think approximately four weeks. It was a very extended search. Now, we've heard testimony um, from Sergeant Stewart and, and maybe to you from some degree that initially, the initial response to the scene on October 5th, yes. um, that there were search efforts focused in the house, in the areas around us, wooded areas, bodies of water, and so forth. Um, is that a normal protocol, the normal protocol for a, a missing children's call? Yes, in the event that we don't immediately find the child. Um, when I was there, I was the incident commander, so we were figuring out what happened from the initial story that we got, um, just to make sure that we covered all our bases and everything that happened, we initiated a further search pattern out that I had to coordinate, and we started getting volunteers, we contacted SEMA, SEMA got involved, um, a lot of resources were brought in to try to attempt to uh, locate Little Quentin. 
Now, when we're talking about young children and missing, missing child 